Hello, I'm Andrew, and in this video I will be showing you how to record your screen using a Mac. It is very easy, and you might want to do this to record tutorials um, or even Keynote or PowerPoint presentations. Keynote is Apple's version of PowerPoint. But to record the screen, you are going to be using a program that comes with your Mac. It's called QuickTime Player. We'll go ahead and launch that up here at the top. You have some options here. Now, you'll notice screen recording is grayed out because we are actually screen recording. But I'm going to bring up a new movie recording just to show you some of the settings that will be there. Now, here we have my webcam is active. You'll be getting a little window that looks like this when you do a screen recording. And it gives you the option of using a microphone, whichever one you have set up. You would not have the camera option. And you don't have quality, but what you do have down at the quality section is the option to show your mouse clicks, uh, to emphasize the mouse clicks or not. And so once that happens, you click the red button. It's, it then brings up a window that says just click once anywhere on the screen and you will be recording the whole screen. Or you can drag a certain area of the screen to record and then it will start recording with the microphone that you have set up. I'm going to go ahead and close this window, but it will still be recording the screen capture. And I'm going to go into the presentation app Keynote. You may be uh, using an app like this or PowerPoint. And then I'm going to go ahead and click play on the first slide. And it is still recording my narration but I will be using the keyboard arrow keys. I'll click right, and I just threw this together. This is just a little presentation to give you an idea of how you can record a voiceover full screen. Now, I will tell you that I used, when you create a keynote presentation, I used the wide format up here where it says choose a theme. That way I get the full screen fill. If I choose standard, it will actually give black bars on the side. So that is uh, worth pointing out. But once you are done with your recording, up here on the top right hand corner of the screen, you have that circle with a square inside of it. And that is the stop button for the screen capture recording. So once you're done with your video, as soon as you click that, it will stop screen capturing and it will ask you where you want to save the file, name it what you want, and then you could take it into a video editor um, if you don't have it, if, if you want a clean start and a clean end, you can trim it up um, and do whatever editing you want to afterward if it's necessary. It may not be, depending on what kind of video you're doing. But anyway, that is how you do a screen capture. I hope that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below, and I will be glad to answer them um, in any future videos. Subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.